The word for the day and the last word I'm gonna say until half time is trust. Have a good game, guys. So Ben, so what's some going on today? Today it's just a, it's just a pre-season friendly. You know, it is. You've got to get the games in, get the fitness up. You know, get rid of some cobwebs, try out some new formations. You know, see what the boys have been doing over their summer breaks. Hopefully, they're still in shape and all that. You know, it's just a little pre-season friendly. We're we're in our twilight now, so we're like over thirty-fives, and it's important, especially for. For over 35 males to be active for their for their well-being so it's all about health it's all about helping with their mental health being involved in a team supporting one another being active and you know it's, it's, it's very important and grassroots as a whole that, that's what that's what football is all about that's where it begins that's where all the seed of football is and you know what can i say all the great players all started in grassroots so you start there and you come back here <laughs> Yeah, we're taking on junior side, junior caddies, all stars. You know, we call them all stars because they're, yeah, yes, yes. they're, they're a quality yes, player. All stars, all empty players, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they're quality players, quality guys as well. I don't expect my team to go out and beat junior's team. Last time they, they give us a little pool score or they give us a seven ball, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. It should be a little bit different with the players that we've got in the club. And hopefully they just enjoy it and have fun, you know, Tabriz. Mm -hmm. You know, just go out there, they're under no pressure. You know, we've got a good, seat, a good team to play. That's all they see it as. They're not looking at the cars. They're going to go out there, play football. And then this should prepare us to go on and play in the bigger elite games that we play in our own league, playing a, a side, a top side. If this, type, if this team was to play Vets football, no one could compete. Mm. to be honest with you so it's nice to have them down there i'm glad that they, they're so committed into their careers and the tv and whatever because you know they'll be in our leagues and then it won't be hardly worth it because you don't get that sort of um caliber but yeah i think our team runs it close we've got our own little players who've had a bit out of the game you know so yeah we're on a level playing field today i'm gonna um name a, a starting 11. obviously we're gonna have subs Subs can be guaranteed, they're not gonna, um, it's pre-season. I'm not gonna wait till times or anyone gets injured or tactical, nothing like that. We're gonna go straight for time. So most of the subs are gonna get 45 minutes and I'm gonna call them at half time. But I'll start with the team as this. What we gotta do out there, simple. they're gonna keep it simple. That's why they had the careers. Because you get the career, by doing the simple stuff to the elite level. No one out ain't gonna go out there and start lollipopping or none of that, they're just gonna bounce it. So we just gotta think about that. You go out there, run, lose the ball, you put the team under pressure, bounce it. And I'm telling you, like, don't stand out there thinking you're gonna turn. Turn before you receive that ball if you're a real player. You know, turn with your fucking wing mirrors because you're gonna get it nicked. And then they're gonna shut an angle down and you can't go nowhere. So. Sharpen up those little stuff because it's, it's the fundamentals that make you go on and, and dominate the game or, or dominate the ball. You know, you've got to have the basics. Just play the way you're facing, lads. Trust each other out there. You've got to trust. There's footballers in here. Trust each other. You know, go out there, try to keep the game short. Earn the right to keep the game short. But, you know, if it ain't happening and we need to take ourselves under pressure, we've got good players up the top of the pitch that we can go and support them if we get the ball to them. You know, we can change it up a bit. But go out there and enjoy it. Your footballers, enjoy playing football. This ain't athletics and it's not cricket, it's not fucking rugby. You know, this is football. You're playing a football team with footballers, you play football. That's just how it goes. Everyone's trusted to go out there and wear the shirt. Even the subs. So, go out there and trust each other. Yeah? Just go out there and trust each other. The word for the day and the last word I'm going to say until half time is trust. Have a good game, guys. This is going to be a big game. Yeah, apparently there's some big players here today. So, it should be fun. And you're one of them, innit? I'm the biggest player here, bro. You know this already. I'm excited, you know? Playing against like. That used to watch us a kid and shit, but yeah, is it bad? apart from that, he won't be here with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, what um, advice could you give to anyone that's 
like looking to get into grassroots football. Personally, I've got a few DVDs out if you want to get my DVDs, you know what I mean? <laughs> just relax, man. Enjoy yourself. Like, you know what I mean? It's, just, it's not really serious, you know what I mean? Like, just relax, enjoy yourself and do your thing, really. I've seen you warm up already, so you're huh? taking this game real serious. Well, it's like any other game, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> Come on, football. <laughs> Where do you think the game's going to be won and, won and lost today? It's keeping it simple, isn't it? Letting the ball do the work for you. Pass and move. That should help us out. Simple as that, isn't it? Who are you texting, Capo? Someone just asked me for the address. Oh, oh wow. So extra support is extra support, isn't it? <laughs> How are you feeling about today's game? Today's um, an opportunity what we've got to use for fitness. And you know, don't worry about who we're playing. It's all about our team structure, our shape, getting those things right, getting the basics right. You know, and fitness. That's what it's about today. I don't look at it as anybody else. It's like any other opposition at this time of the year. Same old team. We've got a few of the boys out today, but you know, let's look at our team. Mm. Our team's growing in structure. We've got a few new additions, which I know are going to benefit us and the way we play. And I think the manager's done a spot on job. We've lost a few players. But in addition, we've got players with a bit more quality, which is, to be honest, which we need mm. to go into the next station forward. The team below us done excellent last season. They won a few trophies. We didn't do as well as we should have. But now, we've got no excuses. Mm. We've, got, we've got the ammunition we need now. It's about us as a personnel to kick on and push forward. Morning. How you doing? You right? Thank you. Respect myself and, our, and the officials. Ciao. Oh, no, no, 
Thomas is on. Yeah, back. Ten. 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 Down, man. Why are we fucking panicking, lads? Like, why? We, why what's the big deal? You know, no one over there is panicking. I know they're winning three, but you know, just take some reality of the situation. You know, we're losing a football match. It's not the end of the fucking world. You know, so all, it, when you're in bad situations and it feels like the end of the world, you throw your toys out of the pram. <coughs> you're not going to deal with that situation. It's going to be even worse for you outside in life. So how about we just chill, deal with the situation. We got footballers. We got good footballers upper level footballers on our side and I tell you right now you know I've been having calls come watch come watch come watch let me tell you why I walked off because you had it under control you had it under control where I don't even think they should have even scored that's how we started the game right. we started to move the ball quickly and then what happened after 15 minutes I walked off after that I don't even know if it happened straight away but I just heard the calls and I just knew something was going wrong and for me that can only happen if we stop doing what we're doing there was no need to stop moving the ball quickly. There's no need to stop moving. You you hold the ball. People read the way you want. It's easy. They're upper level players. They will read. They don't even need to be fit half of them. You have to be three steps in front. They know to do that out of just doing it frequently every day. It's just the done thing. You know, you're, out, you're in jail. Can't get out of jail that way. What am I going to do? Jump over the fucking wall. Whack him. The other guy knows he's going to have to do it, so he's just spanned from probably the quickest player we got on the pitch today. And he's big, he's round, and he's in and behind. It's just the simple stuff, lads. we got to just concentrate on getting back to how we started this game. Just knock the ball around and trust each other. You know, don't try and hold. It's just that if you see your player there, he's on, you give him. You see, you give. You don't wait. You get that call, you give. I said to you, like, the first thing, and this is how I want the team to be playing. The word today is trust. So I can't go and see Byron here and he calls for the ball and I go like this. I'm not trusting Byron. You know, I've got to trust because he can see behind me. And you started off like that, lads. So get a bit of composure about us. Why we got to pop and they started to get away is that our heads went down and then we were so far off them is that we forgot we want to soak. Okay. He's, he's, he's just, uh, so I'm going to pick up the closest man next to me. No, you've got your fucking job to do. You identify a player, your opposite number, when you come onto a football pitch. There's my fucking opposite number. I can do what the fuck I want, but when I ain't got the ball, I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't care what I'm doing. When we got the ball, I go where I want, I boss this game. When I'm not got the ball, when my team's not got the ball, we're not in possession, that means 
That means you go and deal with your opposite number and that's what we're not doing lads. Come back, come back here, come back here! Come on, 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 come on,
These are the kind of games you want to play in. These are the kind of games you want to be involved in. <laughs> Obviously, the standard, the standard, what's up, boss? Is is a different a, level. A different level. The standard is a different level. So you got to you got to be quick, especially in your mind. People think you've got to have all the skills and the touches and the rest of it, but mentality is the first. You've got to shut down quick. But as they get in the ball, we're backing off and backing off. But to be fair, we hit the ball. We hit the woodwork about what four times. So I'm not saying it could have gone either way, but if some of those chances had gone in, it would have been a much closer match. My face dry. Your face is all right, man. All right, cool. Pre season, man. It just shows what we need to work on. That will be the top top level competition. That yeah, probably the highest level competition that will play against this season. So you know, there's a few lessons that we need out there. That's primary was you know getting our shape, our fitness, and um, yeah, finishing was poor today. You know, the the scoreline doesn't really reflect the game. Well, for me, it doesn't. Um, we had loads of chances, and um, yeah. They had their chances and they finished them. We had more chances than them. We didn't finish any. So um, yeah, that's that's football. Today's game. Um, how well do you think it went? Um, it went very well for us. I thought I thought we we played some decent stuff. They had a lot of chances near the end, but I think by then we got a bit tired and that. So we we have stopped moving the ball as well as uh, well as we we could really. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was a good experience for our team. I mean. To come against, to come up against an experience, well, experience ex pros. It's always nice to to learn from that, especially uh, as our as we've as we've got a Sunday team. Our Sunday team hasn't been up against players that know how to play easy football, or they make the football look easy. So it was nice to come off the pitch knowing that well, we was up against it today. But we, we, we can take a lot of things out of that performance today against them. Can you remember your first grassroots game? Grassroots. Well, I can remember my, one of my first games when I was seven years old. One of my first games was seven years old. There was no team that would that had under sevens, so my mum formed the team, which was called George Sheeran. She formed her own team, and from there, I started to play football um, against other other sports centres, youth clubs, etc. And then I got scouted at nine for Arsenal. So 
she paved the way for me mm. at grassroots level. Mm. I used to play on Sundays down at um, Kimber Road with my Sunday team and now I'm a Monica of Lambeth. And um, yeah, so I started grassroots and I play, played every Sunday and then I gradually got into playing Saturdays and that's where my um, my life and, and uh, career kicked on from there. What? things do you think that the FA can actually do to improve the grassroots and, and uh, amateur football game? Definitely youth clubs. Mm. We need they, they need more services on for, for youths and not just football as well. If sports come in handy. If, if, if other kids are playing different sports as well, it always helps for coordination and other games for them to even go into. They might not even have to go into football, but it helps in basic hand skills, eye movement, coordination, speed, fitness. It works well, so I think definitely youth clubs. I, I think they, they need more pitches, personally, that because uh, everybody, uh, every youngster wants to play football, but uh, there ain't uh, enough pitches around for, for them to um, exercise and, 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 play, and play ball and that, first and foremost. But you, you need to, to, um, to, to get the, the, um, uh, the um, whole um, uh, uh, facilities up to scratch and up to a standard where, where people are going to want to go to. What's the one tip that you can give to any grassroots player that's aspiring to actually turn pro like you did? Um, it's just perseverance and that. You, you, um, we'll get knockbacks and that. Um, um, uh, a lot of players have been on trial and, 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 and thinking and that's their chance is gone and that. But it's just per perseverance now. And if you got if you got a, if you got a, a, the ability, you definitely will make it. Mm -hmm. But you, you got to have a bit of luck as well. To be focused, focused, determined, and to always. They probably won't even know it growing up um, as a youngster to challenge themselves but always willing to take on the challenge to remember that um, everything's possible. I think we took it a bit a bit personal didn't think we need to um, be upset with our performance today but we um, we took the game a bit personal and it, we got upset with ourselves and I think that kind of ruined the way we played. First 15 minutes I thought we was brilliant I thought we was brilliant in the first 15 minutes. We passed the ball. We spoke about what we was gonna do, and we stuck to the to the plan really. And then it just went out the window after 15 minutes. They started getting hold of it. It started getting frustrating for the lads. And um, yeah, when you implode, it has it has bad con consequences because you, you never come back when you implode. From my experience, you know, mm. one it just takes one, just one thing. Mm. spark down the whole tree just one bad thing you know just like one good thing can spark the tree you know so yeah it went against us today but they don't need to be so disappointed they know we knew who was up against uh, I mean Rio weren't there or nothing but they still had they still had the caliber they passed the ball around lovely at times you know and I think there's things to take from the game mm. and that that would be like um, take note of how they played it none of them didn't run past anyone None of them weren't trying to ping the ball 100 yards. They just done everything simple and that's why I wanted the team to play this mm -hmm. team. So mm -hmm. we just take from it and go into the games, the big games what we um, play. And sometimes you can play games like that, you think it's a big game and you play a game like that, that just brings everyone back down to earth. Mm -hmm. That big game that you think you got no more, it ain't a big game no more. Cause you know, you, you see now it's done properly, but yeah, I'm, I'm all right about it.